Hey, gracious good morning to all you traders out there in Trader Land. Good morning to you. It is Tuesday, July 31st, 2012. And stock index futures pre market are higher. And we have the NASDAQ leading the charge up 0.28% at the time of this video. And it looks like personal income beat expectations, coming in at a positive 0.5%. And it looks like savings rate also rose from point or 4.0 percent to 4.4 percent. Here's what we were looking at on an hourly spider chart. It had this nice move to the upside on Friday, and then basically broke even here, going into Monday, and a slight little increase right now before the market opens on Tuesday. A little we'll pull back to a support line, but the, look at these two big red lines. Even though this has the high base type formation or even a bullish pennant type formation, the issue that we have here is that we have two trend lines going higher but pinching together, giving us a rising wedge. So this lower trend line is pretty important to me and we're challenging that right now. So on the hourly chart on the SPY, be watching this 20, intraday moving average and that needs to serve as support like right now if the market is going to remain bullish but all in all we after Thursday and Friday's big move to the upside if I go here to the S&P and go to the daily had this big move we sustain these levels above these major areas of resistance for us to have done that yesterday without having an immediate correction back down is going to start eating away at the confidence on the bulls or the bears and adding to the confidence for the bulls here so this is really good news for the bulls that yesterday we did not give all that back in one big nasty swoop going back to the spider we're still not out of the woods yet with this trend line. So be watching that. As far as support lines, or let's go to, re yeah, we'll st do some support lines first. Here's some support lines you definitely want to be watching for today. And then there's a huge drop, and then you're down here. So when it comes to resistance lines, be looking at these guys. And I'll go ahead and show you the ES. And we do have some news. This is a big week as far as news is concerned. This one is just an uptrend, but we're now breaking below the 20 intraday moving average. That's the blue line there. But resistance levels are as follows. To open this up so you can see some of these numbers. And then support levels. And today we have at 9.45 Chicago PMI coming out, but at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time we have consumer confidence coming out. Tomorrow we have the ADP employment change coming out and also auto and truck sales and construction spending. And then we have the Fed rate decision coming out tomorrow at 2.15. I mean, huge news coming out. ECB, we have the Fed, we have all these people, we have unemployment rate coming out on the 3rd, a lot of information this week. If, if the markets or if the news comes out really bullish, expect this market to start surging higher. So there you have it. Feel free to join us in the chat room, the free chat room or the Grokstar Premium chat room. Love to have you. Take care and safe trading.